Part 1. Draining the Oil The engine should be warmed up so all the contaminants get suspended in the oil. You will get a good drain this way, and the warm oil will come out quickly. The gear doors will need to be opened to get access to the drain plug. All that is required is to reach in and pump the emergency gear extension handle up and down a few strokes with the master switch set to off. The doors open quickly and the drain plug can easily be seen in the top of the wheel well area. It's located directly above the nose tire in a place where a drain bucket will not sit directly below, so you will need a way to get the used oil into your container. You can do this by making a simple trough from a flat piece of cardboard about 15 inches wide and 24 inches long. Bend it into a V-shape and then rest it between the nose gear doors and on a suitable container. The oil will flow onto the cardboard and right into the bucket. Reach up into the wheel well with a pair of diagonal cutters and remove the safety wire. Be careful here. Make sure you cut the wire completely where it anchors to the oil sump. This is soft aluminum, and if you use the cutters to pull the wire without it being cut, you run a high risk of tearing out the anchor hole for the wire. With a 7 8 socket, or wrench, loosen the drain plug and then use your fingers to remove the plug from the sump. Since this is hot oil, you'll want to move the plug quickly out of the flowing oil so you don't get burned. Keep an eye on the oil as it runs down the cardboard and watch for any abnormal chunks. If you see anything suspicious, make sure to find it and identify it. This is your chance to identify pending engine problems, so take advantage. If you plan to take a sample for analysis, Put your bottle into the stream of oil after a quart or two has run out, and catch an ounce or two. 